Hi everybody, Amber here from Atomic Photography, bringing you tips and tricks on beauty, fashion and travel photography. Today I'm going to be showing you how I'm using my XP Pen Artist 22E Pro for photo retouching. I invested in this pen display, I will link the unboxing video above, and a couple of you have been asking me how I'm using it for my photo retouch, how am I getting on, is the resolution okay, does the pen have too much parallax, so I'm going to be answering all of your questions in today's tutorial. I'm gonna put you over my shoulder and just watch me retouch one of my images. So I'm just gonna select then another image to edit and it's gonna bring this image into Photoshop and edit it with the Lightroom adjustments. Okay, so got my workspace open. I want to make an extra layer and then I want to zoom in and I can do that with the hotkeys on the side and first things first I'm going to go into the liquify tool to where I want it to be and come onto the clone tool, set the size and type of brush that I want to use. So probably a little bit bigger, yeah, a bit bigger than that. I've got this key as my Alt or my Option key and I click my source and I click where I want it to go. So click the source, click, 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 click. And that looks a bit hard, so I'm going to undo that. So I'm going to probably come back into my uh, brush. You can see I've got quite a hard round brush, so I'm going to go softer on that, probably go a little bit bigger. And then again, we do Alt, we do that. So you can see it's really easy, and I'm, I'll, I'll help you guys sort of. I'll zoom into the areas that I'm working on so that you can see the level of detail that I've got, that I can see it on the screen. So let me just let me just zoom you in a little bit so that you can see. It's a really good resolution of screen. I've got so much detail that I'm able to work with. It just looks absolutely stunning. So if I come into the spot healing tool, spot healing brush tool, again make it a little bit, uh, make my size a bit bigger and probably bring the hardness down and we're kind of, we can start doing these tiny little uh, spot removals. Just love being able to do it directly on the screen. And I just feel like I'm painting. I just love it. And then you can configure your hotkeys to however you want them to be. So I've got mine as an undo, which is something that I do quite often. I've got the alt so that I can click a source and click the, the destination target. I've got some copy and paste and I've got zoom in, zoom out. I've got a shift and I've got command, so that's mainly for when I'm in Lightroom and I'm wanting to do multiple selections of images. So if I come back to, so we're in, we're in spot healing and you can see that it's just really easy to do. It's less strain for me as well. So I used to find using the mouse on my 
MacBook Pro a little bit onerous, which is why I had the Wacom, but with a laptop and the Wacom, I used to I used to find that it wasn't always as accurate and my hand-eye coordination wasn't the most amazing so I've always wanted a pen display let me bring the hand tool bring this up let's do her chin um, actually I'm going to go back to the spot healing And actually you can see that if I press my pen harder, it's a bigger brush. All right, let me undo that. But if I do smaller strokes, the size is different. So I don't have to keep changing my brush size. I can just start to change the pressure with which I use my pen. And that's just so time saving for me. I absolutely love it, love, love, love it. I can't say I can't say more about how much I'm loving using the XP pen for retouch purposes. Um, just gonna come back to spot healing, spot healing. Now for you photographers out there that do other forms of art as well, if, it, if you are into graphic design and you're into drawing and illustrating, this is gonna feel so natural to you as well. I just, I love painting, I love illustrating, I love drawing, sketching, etc. And so this just feels so much more intuitive to me than how I was retouching with a mouse pad it just feels so natural. It's like, you know, yes, I'm, I'm trying to paint these parts of her skin and it just, it, it just feels so, so natural. Now I've heard people talk about parallax as well and parallax means obviously this is a plate of glass and the plastic uh, nib on the pen sits slightly above it and as it sits above it there are sensors below that sense the, the pen and but there's glass in between that so there's a slight gap between the pen and your canvas I guess and that's called parallax and the lag factor between that so the the distance of where your pen is to where the actual action is happening is called parallax and i'm not finding that there's a lot of parallax i when i'm actually doing it on the canvas itself i don't feel it very much where i feel it most is when i'm trying to hit that little triangle so i have to hit the big brush the brush tool bit or when i'm in for example, if I come back into Lightroom, can I come back into Lightroom? See, that's what I mean. So trying to select something like that. These, these sliders can be a little bit tricky for me in Lightroom, um, but generally that's because they're right out on the side. So they're, they're at a bit of an angle, your hand isn't quite straight on it. Whereas in the middle of the screen where I'm tending to work on the actual image itself, it's not noticeable at all.
Last but not least is how I color grade my images. And I have, I think you guys have seen already the infinite color panel tutorial. I'll link it up above. Infinite Color Panel basically is an intelligent tool. It helps you color grade your image by looking at your image, looking at the colors that are already in it and calculating sort of some harmonized color tones for you. Um, you can do them at the curves, color balance, selective color, gradient map, color lookup. And what it's done for my workflow is actually shown me and got me out of my comfort zone around some of the color tones that I normally go to. So when I'm manually color toning, I think we all have a bit of a color style that we sort of default to. And I like how it's showing me different options. So you hit create and it gives you a color grading. I hit create again and it gives me a slightly different look. So that's a more pinky view. That's a little bit more blue. This is a little bit more green. And you can hit that create button multiple times and what it's doing is it's creating these combinations of different color layers on the side that's very vintage looking oh that's lush see i wouldn't normally go for some of these color tones but see how lovely and vintage that's looking so if i was to maybe see something can go oh that's really nice but do you know what that's taken it too far away from the original you just go onto the group that 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 gets created for you you go to the opacity layer and you can set the intensity of how far you want to apply that set of color toning to your image so you just get a hint of it coming through i've got it at almost 30 percent you can hit create again and it gives you just slightly different looks to your image i'm loving that one i'm going to go with this one you can also then apply that layer set to other images in that series and you get very consistent color toning and grading for your images. So you can see the before and after of the image that we have just edited side by side and yeah, I hope you like what we did. So I think you guys gathered that I absolutely love using this tool for my retouch. It's just like painting and I've just wanted to do that for so long, so many years. I've been aching to just be able to with my hands. Wouldn't it be great if I could just paint onto the screen and now I can and it's just such a nice experience. enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel do the little bell thingy so that you get notified when I upload videos and join my community of photographers whether you're new whether you're old well not old but whether you've been doing this for a while but whatever stage you're at I hope that you'll find something useful and valuable here and I hope to see you soon mm -hmm.